This week on the Street of Dreams, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above 40,000 for the first time in history. Put that level in a proper perspective, the Dow dropped to 18,000 during COVID, a mere four years ago. Financial markets finished the week strong, with the Dow up 1.2% to notch its fifth straight weekly gain, while the S&P 500 climbed 1.5%, NASDAQ was up 2.1%, clinching their longest winning streak since February. This week's ascent helped propel the three indices into positive territory for the second quarter, despite a tough start this past April. The S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are now each up more than 11% in 2024, while the Dow has climbed more than 6% for the year. Now, over the years, I have often quoted Sir John Templeton, who so famously said, the four most dangerous words in investment history is it's different this time. But I'm now beginning to believe the most dangerous investment words are, everybody knows that. As in, everybody knows that China's economy is suffering from a bursting of their real estate bubble and is having a negative effect on the other emerging markets. Except our emerging market portfolio was up over 3% this week and is now up over 9% year to date. Everybody knows that the economies of Europe are sluggish. However, the German, French, and British stock markets are hitting all-time record highs. Everybody knows the global economy is struggling, but our commodity portfolio was up 3% this week and is now up over 10% year to date. Everybody knows the future of energy is green, but our energy pipeline portfolio just upped its quarterly dividend by 8% and is now up with a total return of over 15%. Everybody knows about the problems with commercial real estate. However, our real estate portfolio rose almost 3% this week and yields over 4%. Now, everybody knows that AI, artificial intelligence, is here and it changes everything. What everybody didn't seem to realize until this week is that that change presents a once in a generation opportunity in a diversified portfolio, not one that is just concentrated in seven magnificent stocks. I guess, all things considered, Sir John Templeton is right once again. It's not different this time.